Okay, thanks to Red Doc Ock, Parasitic, and a few other people in Discord, I um, have figured out how to get a jump animation to work with no mods or plugins or eject engine or anything. Um, I just want to point out, I tried doing player jump using a actor that followed my actor and was delayed in its movement a little bit and so like if I jumped above if I if they were below me I would change to the different actor and then if I you know facing right and if I was left it would change to a different actor as well and it worked but I could not get it to be stable when I was walking and it would constantly because the else if it wasn't doing this, it would, it would set the actor sprite sheet back to walk. And the weird thing was, I could not figure out how to get it to stop doing that. So, uh, that didn't work. So, um, what we went with was this actor here is pinned to the screen. Um, if you don't have the actor pinned to the screen and it goes off screen it would stop measuring I don't at least that's my experience with doing this um, so this guy's pinned to the screen so it's always on the screen with the actor and um, so I disabled actor set position I was I was making it follow but I don't need that anymore so I made a script um, that stores the player position twice X and Y position of the player two times and there's a weight in between. So I made the, the variables in here so player store position X Y 1 and it waits a tenth of a second and then it stores its new position and then what it does is if the player position 2 is less than player 1 because one thing that uh, Red Doc Ock pointed out is lower numbers are higher. When I initially tried this, I did it greater than, and I didn't understand why it didn't work, but that's, I'm forgetting that lower numbers are higher on the position on the screen. So if it's less than Y1, then if the actor's facing right, it sets it to a single frame uh, sprite sheet I made of a jump, and otherwise it sets it facing left. And then after it does this, it waits 0.3 seconds and then it sets the player sprite sheet back to um, the regular walk animation and um, we tried it with if it's greater than uh, then it sets it back instead of the timer but what happened with that is when I would jump up when I would jump up it would never achieve greater than like if you jump up and over and back down then it would get greater than and it would set it back correct. So what you'd have to do is jump and then jump again and it would look glitchy. If you do greater than or equal to, whenever you're equal running around, it was trying to set the player um, jump sheet um, and the player run, you know, regular player sprite sheet over and over. So it was like glitching everywhere. So um, this player jump, I'm gonna just delete this old one. And then I'm gonna call it player jump because this is the one I'm going to roll with um, player jump I added it to on update for this pinned actor which I call player jump measurer and that sprite sheet if you hide it it won't work so what I did is I just made a sprite sheet that had no pixels that were visible in that actor and that seemed to work so it just looks like a, a blank thing so on interact there's nothing on init there's nothing on update it has these um, variables which are set to to measure the player um, and so far that seems to have worked okay so I'm gonna give it a shot um, demonstrating it um, here we go turn the sound down so here we go, when I jump, see how it, it shows my jump animation. When I go this way, oops, when I go this way, it's showing the jump. I should probably maximize this. 
So there's the jump there, there's the jump there. So I jump up and it lands. Jump up and it lands, jump up and it lands. It's not getting stuck. When I jump up through something, it's also not getting stuck. I can still shoot when I jump. Let me see, can I just jump and shoot? I can jump and shoot. I can jump and shoot for some reason. Okay, it wasn't, for a second it wasn't letting me jump straight up and shoot, but that's because I have the shoot delay on. Um, let's see, I can still shoot there. Jump and shoot, jump and shoot, going good. And then when I fall in a pit, it shows the death animation. I can still jump and shoot, jump and shoot. So I think I got this figured out. Oh, I'm on zero lives. I want to try to get to an item pickup. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to pick up this item. I don't know why this would mess up anything, but just want to see. Okay, so I got a relic. Yay. That, that was weird. I wasn't supposed to be able to jump through there, so I need to fix that. Um, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, that was cool. I actually got an extra life when I... Uh, Oh, weird, okay. So, for some reason, I I did lose a life, and it was on a delay, but, okay, so, boom. It hit me. I'm not dying with this guy. So, I gotta figure out what I did there. But anyway, the jump animation's working. I hope this helps out other people, because it pretty much made my day trying to figure this out, so. I'm going to go through this one more time. So you have a pinned actor called player jump measure. They're, they're pinned to the screen. There's no sprites. You make a, a custom event. You have to add this to every scene, I believe, and you put it on update. And then in this event, this, this is a custom event. These are uh, uh, local variables. Well, no, they're not local variables. They're just set to the player. So you store the player, you have to add this event in the custom script actor store position and variables. You select player and then you select their X and Y position right there, X and Y position there, and then here it goes to if variable compared with player Y to uh, player Y1. I guess I didn't really use the player X position, but I think when you do store position and variables, you kind of have to do both. So I don't think it's really hurting anything. Um, and then, so it's going to, if it's facing right, shows the right spread sheet. If it's facing anything else, this was just easier than um, adding another if facing direction. So else it's facing left. Then it, it shows the jump animation for 0.3 seconds. I tested it a bunch. So for me, that was like enough, but you could play with it. Maybe like 0.4 seconds makes the jump seem a little nicer. And then I'm going to delete this event because I didn't need that one. And that's it. Hopefully it's high enough resolution that you can like pause it and figure all this stuff out. Okay, thanks.